This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. All right, this is part eight of radian measure of angles and we're just continue, continuing our work converting between degree measure and radian measure. And we're gonna do these two problems on this video. All right, and I showed you there's two ways to do this. You could use the idea that you could multiply each of these by either pi over 180 degrees or 180 degrees over pi. So, and actually, just so we remember what we started with, I'm going to rewrite this as that. And so, you want to get degrees in your answer. There are no degrees, so we need to put the 180 degrees in the numerator so we have something in degrees and pi in the denominator. Then we see if we can cancel anything and we'll have degrees in our answer. So the pi's cancel, and then the 6 goes into 180 30 times. So what do we have in the numerator? 7 times 30, which is 210. By the way, the pi's cancel, those are just 1's, right? So we have 210 degrees over 1. So we're just going to write 210 degrees. Now I did show you that you could do a direct substitution. Instead, you could say, well, pi is 180, so if you want, some people do it this way, they just replace the, the pi with 180 degrees. And that works exactly the same way you still would cancel the 6 into the 180 and get 30, and you still end up with 210 degrees. This is really faster if you look at it, right, just to replace it. So you're, you're certainly free to do it that way. Um, it's just that you, when you're going from degree measure to radian, you really can't do that unless you have exactly 180 degrees to replace with pi. Okay, let's do the second one. So again, I'm going to first show it by how am I going to get degrees in my answer? I need to get degrees in my answer by putting times 180 degrees in the numerator, so I want the pi in the denominator. You're just multiplying by 1, right, because these are the same number, 180 degrees and pi mean the same thing. And then I see what I can cancel, the pi's cancel, and then the 2 into the 180 cancels, that'll give you 90. So what does that give me? I've got 11 times 90 in the numerator, right? And then I'm going to have it in degrees, which is what I want. So I have to do 11 times 90. Well, that's just 11 times 9, which is 99. And this extra 0 here, because it's really 90, and I have my answer in degrees. And of course, the second way, you could do a direct replacement. Instead of multiplying by 180 degree over pi and canceling, you could say, well, pi is the same thing as 180 degrees. So you're just doing a substitution and then doing the canceling. 2 into 80 is 90. And that also is going to give you the same thing, 990 degrees. This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.